help. Um, you know, I'm an author now. I've got a book out, Hip Hop, Hip -Hop to Homeowners. Um, I've dealt with like, a lot of celebrity clients, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of business ventures. I have a school uniform collection. I'm an entrepreneur. I start businesses. So I took my hustle and took it to another level, right? So the whole point of me telling you that is like, well, no matter what you come from, like, no matter how bad the circumstance is, if you bust the right moves, meaning if you make the right decisions, if you embody like certain principles, you can make it out of anywhere. So this is me telling you, like right now, I'm in my first million in real estate by 28, coming out of the streets, like legally. And this is after having three felonies, growing up broke the whole, everything I just told you. I only told you that story just so you could just know, like, like right now, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming that dude. You know what I'm saying? I just did two episodes on the Today Show, which is like TV Guy's 13th all-time best show. You know what I'm saying? Like they called me like the best dress realtor on today's show. Usually I'm like in suits and fancy handkerchiefs and all of that. So um, my, my point being is not to say like, oh, I'm great. It ain't, it's nothing about me. Like I don't, it's not about that. It's just showing y'all that at, at the worst of situations, you know, like a lot of like, how many people here know someone that's been in jail? Right. So how many know somebody that, that been in jail and then went back to jail again? Right. So what I'm on a mission to do, right? So just let y'all know about more about me. Like, so, so my brand is built off of real estate. But what I'm on a mission to do, and it's the only reason why I'm here, is I'm trying to break that cycle. And trying to break the cycle of our community, minorities, especially young brothers going to jail, our families being poor, us having so much teen pregnancy, like all the things that is hurting our, hurting our flow, hurting our, hurting our, our community. Like, that's all I'm about right now. Like, I'm not even, like, about, like, my real estate career, I put on autopilot. I got people that work for me, and it's cool, like, you know, whatever. I do my TV stuff, really. And I tell, like, the TV producers, I only, I mean, it's fun. I ain't gonna front. It's fun being in front of the camera and all of that. Like, I, I mean, I like it. It's fly. But what I really do it is to be able to show y'all how far, or just, you know what I'm saying, anyone from our community, how far you can go when you make the right decisions. All I'm doing right now is um, bringing my ideas to the forefront, where y'all can ask me any questions you want in a minute. I know I'm talking a lot. But um, I'm bringing my ideas to the forefront of how any of us can make it from anywhere. It's, it's very, very simple. It's just, just key things we got to do. So um, that's, what, that's what my message is about. My message, like, I want to see a whole bunch of young black, young brown-faced, young Hispanic millionaires and successful people, people, young men that's taking care of their families and that, you know what I'm saying, and that's straight. Like, when, when, I, when I'm out there, like, we see our rappers and our ball players or whatever, and... and um, a lot of these dudes got these stages and you think they got bread like that, but they, they ain't even got bread like that. They just fronting. You know what I'm saying? And you follow their image, you follow what they song say, or what a raw or a two chains or whoever say, and it's not even like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in an arena now where I'm seeing people that's building $56 million houses. Like that blew my mind when I got into like high end real estate and I walked through a house that was $56 million that somebody's selling, that somebody built from scratch and is selling. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's other kind of money out there. It's other kind of opportunities out there if we approach it right. That never caused me to, to, to do drugs. It just caused me not to care about my life. You know what I mean? Like, me, me, me seeing my, 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 my parents be in that cycle and even other family member, it just had me like, my life ain't fair. That's how, that's how I felt growing up. Like, my life ain't fair. Like, this ain't, you know what I'm saying? So I just really didn't care. It was like, I ain't really care how I ended up. So a lot of times we lash out, not really caring how we end up, but we think we hurting somebody else. Like, okay, if I ruin my life, I'm going I'm to I'm show y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to see because I don't care about my life. But at the end of the day, I'm only hurting me, though. I'm the one that got sit in prison. Or I'm the one that's going, you know what I'm saying? You hurt by it. So it was like, I kind of was like, on a, on, on a purpose, I, I purposely was like kind of self-destructing. Like, I ain't know it, but I kind of was like self-destructing because I was just so, so mad and so angry. Yeah, I was like, I was like a, a habitual stacker. It was like, I just love seeing money grow. So I was just like, I was into that. And I thought that made me a man. Like, I'm saying like, I used to, cha I used to love money. Like I used to like, I'm, I don't love money no more. Like I know what money could do for you. It makes you, it gets you comfortable, but I don't love it though. You know what I'm saying? I used to love money. Like, and, and, and that love for money, how you do crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? I did. So, um. That was another thing. Everybody told me, oh, you can't get a real estate license. You got felonies, or you can't get a real estate license. 
And real, a real estate course is, a, is, is most states is a 75 hour course. 75 hours, you take your, you pass your test, you pass the state's test, and you got a real estate certificate. Now me having felonies, I had to like do a petition, you know what I'm saying, or like get referrals and recommendations in order to get the license, and they had me on probation for one year, but I got it, and I'm saying I did well with it. So um, I found that so many careers in real estate, selling houses, you can be property managers, appraisers, you know what I'm saying it's just like a lot of opportunity that a lot of us don't know about. Um, and I was just talking to my company, Caldwell Banker, about doing a minority initiative, because like 92% of realtors are white, they're Caucasian. There's only 4% of realtors in the whole United States are black. So we're trying to change that also, because it's, it's a great career, you know what I'm saying, for people that um, you know, want an alternative, either while in college or maybe college is not their route. It's still a great career. Um, yeah, I mean, my biggest motivation was like, I want to be, so, one is making the, most out, most, making the most out of my talents, right? Like that was one thing, like making the most out of my talents. And the second was, I want to do something, I guess, as I matured, me just having a nice car or some jewelry, that didn't really wasn't nothing my mom could be proud of or nothing my daughter could be proud of. It's like, I, and that's like even me now. It's like, I don't, I don't live, like, you know, I don't live my life now for things. I live my life to build a legacy. Like, I just think that's just so dope. Like, how you have people that's like in the history books. Like, you got like Martin Luther King, Gandhi, like JFK, people like, you know what I'm saying? That I think that's fly. Like, to be in the history books. Like, you riding down the street with your beast bumping in the car, that's cool, but that's small goals. You know what I'm saying? So I have big goals. And that's, and that's kind of what motivated me. Like, I want to like, you know, w what's the most I could do in this world? You know what I mean? And, and when, I, when, I, when I challenged myself like that, even come off the block, it was like, I, like selling drugs is like, that's, it's like, it's like, I call it using your superpowers for, for evil. Like, you got, everybody got superpowers, you got talent. So what you gonna use it for? You gonna use the superpowers for good, or you gonna use it for evil? You know what I'm saying, so now I'm on a, a path for good. I got peace, bro. I got peace. Chilling. You know what I mean? And that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Having that inner peace. Like, my, my, my story didn't change, though. Right? My, my story's still the same. I couldn't go. And that's why I tell people, like, you can't, and I don't know what your situations are. Y'all ain't got even divulge it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, your story could be worse than mine. Like, man, he ain't talking about nothing. My drink way crazier. But guess what? My story don't change, and your story don't change. Now what? Now what? What you gonna do? You got the most worst start off in life ever. Be broke with him broke, parents were abusive and abusive, foster home, whatever, whatever. But now what? What you gonna do with that? You gonna hang it up? Or you gonna fight and make something out of it? That's the bottom line. But then it's like, how do you do that, right? She's like, all right, Jay, it sound good. Like, I feel it. But then how you do that? So the way I identify how you do it is, is attitude, or really accountability, attitude, appearance, and value and ownership. Like, that's how you really win. Like, as young men, you gotta, like, you gotta, you gotta, one, you got to be accountable. You got to be accountable to you and the people around you for how you move. You just can't move any old way. Like it's just it ain't life ain't like that. Like you just can't go knock a chick up and then skate out. It just ain't like that. You accountable for your actions. You just can't go out with your friends, like y'all got the cactus on the blazers now, but when y'all in the streets it's a different a different swag, ain't it? Yeah. Right. But when you with your boys, like yo, yo, me and Nigel were talking about the other day. I remember being young, 15, 16, and we used to play you lead, I follow. We just in the street, we just bull, be BSing, and you see somebody, and I, right, you lead, I follow. Yeah. We just gonna knock him out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just cause, just cause we bored. Okay, so my whole point is like, but stuff like that can land you in prison. Playing little hood games. You gotta be accountable. And the second thing, just for the minute is up, yo, is your appearance. It's one of the biggest things that I figured out, and your key to how you make it. It's how you look, yo. Stop trying to look like the hood. The, looking like the hood gonna keep you right in the hood, yo. Right in the hood. You act hood, you look hood, you gonna stay right in the hood. Like usually this is all cleaned up, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't do nothing on my face. I keep my joint clean. Cause I know what that gets you. Get you clean money. 
If you want to look rough, you want to look like the hood, you want to buy into what the, what the hood is around you, why right, you stay with them folks then? You want to give them other folks and the other money? You got to talk like them, you got to act like them. So that's it. Gentlemen, please. Yeah. Now I appreciate y'all. This story was very, very motivational to me. It meant a lot and it really got to me. I feel as though Jay Morrison kept it real. He knew where, where we were coming from and he lived the same life we did. But he was trying to give us insight of how we should make it up and how we should become successful like him.